once again and welcome back to another tutorial. This time what I want to look at is um, adjusting colours using curves and also um, with this picture here of the Orion Nebula I'd like to show you um, how I use the Heidel layer mask to fix the uh, core which is burnt out. <coughs> so what I've done here is I've already done the adjustments to the colours um, so I'll, I'll just show you what, what that looks like when I've finished there and that's just using curves to do that so what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete my work by dragging that layer to the bin to get rid of it. and that just leaves me with my original background copy and then a copy of that so I've got my top layer to work with right now you can see here colours need changing and working on so rather than, um, I, I find using curves to do this much uh, easier, so what we're going to do is just go up here to Image, Adjustment and Curves, and in your Channels box up there where it says RGB, just change that to the colour that you want to work on, so you can change it to red, and you get your, your curves line. Now if you just grab hold of the pointer right in the middle and pull up, you'll notice that straight away you boost the red colour down. And you can of course, as you can normally do with curves, you can pull it around and alter it to your taste. I find generally that a simple just doing that, just pulling it up like that, boosts the colour that I want enough. Um, there we go, so I'm quite happy with that. And then I'm going to go to the channel box again and change to the green. So with this of course increase the, the contrast just as you can with normal curves. So it's quite useful for, for the colours. So we're quite happy with that. And then we go to the blue. And reduce that to a bit like pulling it the other way. So go the other way, right blue, bring it down that way. Yeah. I'm okay with that, so we'll say okay. So that's how just using curves I quickly change the colours to something a little bit more suitable. But you'll notice that the core of the nebula is burnt out. And so a quick way of fixing that um, is to have another picture ready that you've taken at a lower exposure, say about 15 seconds at an ISO of about uh, 1600. And I've got one of those pictures here and it doesn't look like very much, but I only need the core there, you see, so with the, with the main stars and the trapeze in there. So what I'm going to do now with this picture is I'm going to uh, select here, select all, and then I'm going to, actually no, no, I'll, I'll do that. 
that's all well and good. And we go back to our paintbrush again. Okay. And we continue to paint the core. That's all good. But we want to get rid of the horrible black bit that we've got here. So if we go here to the foreground and background color, and we use the little arrows and switch them over, it will, when I paint, it will remove the bit that I've just painted. and we just change that down a little bit. Remember we're taking away now because we've changed the black, the white to the black. increasing and uh, working with the colors using the curves and then uh, putting back the core of the Orion Nebula using uh, another picture with a lower exposure, this one, making the selection and then putting that in there using the hide all layer marks. And that's the result. Hope you like that tutorial and uh, needing more help, astrocaster.blogspot.com. We'll see you in the next tutorial. Thanks for watching.